my name is Raga and today we're going to learn how to play basketball. That's how you get the ball up without getting a travel or a double dribble. First, we will start by doing our stretches. First, we will do high knees, which is basically getting your knees up high all the way to your chest. We're going to do that all the way to half court. And then, to, and then we're going to, on the other half court side, we're going to do butt kickers, which is basically keeping your butt on one knee. So, Now we'll be doing liners, which is basically first you run to the free throw line, you come back, touch this line, three point, half court, half, uh, three point, come back, touch this line, half court, come back, touch this line, the other three point, and then come back, touch this line, and then the free throw, not the free throw, come back, touch this line, half court, come back, touch this line. I'm exhausted by saying this, I don't know how I'm going to do it. is another word for bounce. So when you dribble, it literally means bouncing the ball. So when you dribble, you have to dribble while you're moving. So you can't stop and go like... So when you dribble, you have to just dribble the ball. You can stop. But yeah, and you can also take a pivot. pivot. You can also pivot, which, which basically means you can take one foot and then you can move it around. You can't go like this. So when you do this, you have to only take one one leg and move it around. So if you do the hoop is right behind you, you can turn When you dribble the ball, there's also something called a carry. When you hold the ball and walk, it's a travel. And then when you dribble the ball, hold it and dribble again, that's a double dribble. There's also another way to do a double dribble, which is basically doing this. And you do not want to do that because that looks embarrassing. Plus, that's not how you dribble. You get you get called for that. And by when and also, I, I mentioned carry. So when you carry, you basically go like this, and then you do this. And then when you do that, they call that. You can't do this. So it's like you're dribbling to the basket. And then you do this because if defenders are ahead of you, you can't. So whenever the ball goes on, your hand goes under the ball. It becomes called carry. I mean, it, sorry about my grammar, but it's called, it, it called, it's gonna get called carry. So, there's also another way that you're not gonna be called like a pivot, pivot foot, but when you, so when you dribble, and then you take a layup, you're gonna take two steps because I need to demonstrate my motion. Right? I'm gonna show that in slow motion so now you can see how I take two steps. I dribble like this, then I stop and then I take one foot. This still should be called a pivot. But then I raise the other foot and then I shoot. So that would be called two steps. Where if we don't call that because that's like that's the move that everyone almost does like this. When you dribble, you need to be dribbling with your palm. So it's going to be like this. And then when you dribble with your palm, you're going to use your other hand, which you're not doing with your palm with, to like keep the ball away from the defender. So pretend this ball is my defender. Here, I'll be like this. A good way to practice keeping the ball away from the defender is by doing this. That's all you need to know for dribbling, but there's an acronym that I made that helps you dribble the ball. 
So I call it B A L L ball. So it goes like this. Well, I didn't technically made it. My PE teacher told me about it. So this is how it goes. B A L L ball. So first, B stands for below your waist. When you dribble the ball, the ball needs to be below your waist, and I told you that the ball you need to dribble with the palm. Remember? And then A stands for away from your defender. So away from your defender. So if your defender is here, you should probably do this. And if not, you should do a crossover. Sorry about that. Also, you should do a. You just do a crossover. And then you should do this. There's defenders on that side now. If he's in the middle, you should, you should turn sideways and then you should do this. And then L stands for look forward. So when you double the bar, you're not going to be like this and then you're going to charge in. It's supposed to be like this. So all the things I told you looks like this. And then there's one more thing. Low body. So I have to be like this. So it's, you're not like this. It's hard to get the ball. Oh, where's that ball? Okay, that's, there we go. I have to be like this, and this is how you dribble. So when you dribble the ball, you're going to be like this. Oh man! Awesome. Thanks for watching. Uh, please come back to watch the episode on passing the ball.